Hello, Portland. I am Mr. Woot. I am Mr. Stock. And we are better known as James Ernest and Mike Selinker of Lone Shark Games. Notorious puzzle makers. That we are. Indeed. And I would like to tell you a joke. That's great news. A man is sitting at a bar and says to himself, I built all the walls in this city. Could you tell this joke with a club in your hand? Uh, yes, of course I can, Mr. Stock. That's Thank you very excellent. much for the helpful suggestion. I'm sure that will make the joke much better. I built all the walls in this city, brick by brick. Could you also add this apple? Uh, yes, of course I could. Thank you very much, Mr. Stock. This is getting complicated. But do they call me Angus, the bricklayer? No. Could you please add this mobile phone to your repertoire? What is this? It is a mobile a phone. Oh, it's a mobile phone. So I have a club, yes. an apple, and a mobile phone. That's correct. How should I ever hold all three of these objects? This is once? not my problem. Stand back. I shall. I have an idea. So as you know, we occasionally include puzzles in our routines. This might be one such moment. Oh, yeah. That was excellent. May I take those from you? No, nothing would make me happier. Thank you. Oh, delicious apple. The man continues speaking to himself. He says, Could you hold this sword? <laughs> yes, I would be happy to hold that sword. It's a good sword, wouldn't you say? It's the best sword in the world. He says, I painted all the signs on the main street. I have this iced tea. Would you like me to hold this? What is it again? An iced tea. An iced tea. This yes. is an iced tea, and this is a real sword. It's a very real sword. It's a sword. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, it's just a sword. I painted all the signs on the main street, but do they call me Angus, the sign painter? I have an eggplant. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. I see where you're going with this. I'm not even sure how to start. Well, you try. It's very sharp. So if you were solving a puzzle at this point, you would be probably trying to produce a 12-letter phrase. May I please take those I, off your I hands? I almost cut myself. Then the man says to himself, I built the schoolhouse with my bare hands. He has this pole, perhaps? He, yes, he has a pole. What is this? That's a pole. Mr. Stock, this is the oddest looking pole I've ever seen, but I'll take your word for it that this is a pole. It's an excellent pole. No, I'm sorry, it's just a pole. <laughs> like it matters. Uh, but do they call me Angus, the bare, what is that? It's an elephant. That is the cutest little elephant I've ever seen. Now, what could you possibly expect me to do with a pole and an elephant? I can't begin to guess. Uh, but? I do have a serving tray. A serving tray. Yes, a serving nice. tray. What kind of tray is this? Serving a tray. A serving tray, I understand. Mike, I'm going to need your help. Thank you, To sir. assist me in this most dangerous and violent act. The Please. elephant's life is at stake. First, I will spin this serving tray on my finger to thunderous applause. Thunderous. From everyone who has not worked in a restaurant. Oh, come on now. Would you like an elephant? I can do it. And now would you please hand me the elephant? Here it is, sir. Look at that cute little guy. Good. Ooh, Ooh, nice. It starts pole. getting difficult now. Wow. Now if you were the kind of person to have a 12-letter phrase at this point, you might tweet it to hash Wootstock. May I take those off your hands? Yes, thank you very much. Certainly. And thank you very much. I'm Mr. Woot. I'm Mr. Stock. And we'll see you again soon.